Now, this time I'm going to share with you how you can DM uh, individual Facebook profiles from a TaskBot. In the previous video, I shared how you can use a TaskBot, the agency leads TaskBot, the AlBot is what I call it, for connecting with Facebook pages. Now there are two different task bots that, that I have on the market that do similar things based on the niche. And you can customize this niche to whatever you like. All right, so let me go through those. Uh, this is where you collect and DM profiles. Okay, let me dive into that and show you what I'm talking about. So here's the agency leads task bot we just talked about. And these two, grow your Facebook group and podcast guest outreach, the grow bot and the pod bot, both do very similar things, but for different niches. So let's say you, uh, you just want to reach out to people that are in a particular niche, either one of these would work. So I would probably, you can go to either one, the podcast or grow your Facebook group. So let's just start with grow your Facebook group. All right. So if I click on that, you will see instructions, but it'll automatically put you into the enter data uh, tab. So you're going to need to follow these instructions. Again, same situation. You have to do it on Chrome. You have to enter your cookies. I showed you in the last place how to get those cookies. And just to show you again, you're going to open your profile. You're going to log in and you're going to go up here to this edit this cookie and click one, two, three, four, five over. Click that and it copies your cookies. Okay. And then we're going to come back here to the task bot. And we're going to enter that information in this box. Okay. Now we go to the data and you'll see a, a, subtleties, a few different things. Some of this is very, very similar. So the first thing is enter the number of Facebook suggested friends profiles you wish to collect. So this is how this task bot works. It's going to automatically open up your suggested friends list. And that list is a never ending list of people who are connected to the people you are connected to already. So I use that because that is already a warm outreach because you can say in your DM, hey, we've got some mutual friends. I'd love to connect, right? That's a warm outreach. It's not totally cold. And that is a never ending um, list of people because you are connected with lots of people and they are connected with lots of people. So you'll see that in just a sec. So if I click here, friends, you don't have to do any of this. I'm just showing you because the bot automatically does this. And it goes to suggestions. There's your list. It's a very long list that keeps replenishing and keeps replenishing and keeps replenishing. Okay. Just keeps replenishing because it's a never ending list. And it shows you the mutual friends you have in common. 18 mutual friends, 24, 29, 8, 6, 17, 4, all those things, right? So the bot is going to automatically go to that page of your suggested friends. And you tell the bot how many of those people, those profiles, you want to collect each time the bot runs. So again, similar to last time, I probably would do about 100 at the most because I, even with those suggested friends, I'm not just going to send messages to every single one of them and I'll show you what the bot collects. I'm going to be a little more picky. I want quality over quantity. So I'm going to go in and qualify. These bots have been designed to help you after the bot collects all the data to have you go in and qualify the person and make sure that you want your very valuable resource of your reputation to be used correctly by the automation. Hey, let me say that again. The bot will is designed to let you as the human decide how your very valuable reputation is used when reaching out to cold DMs and who you're going to reach out to, okay? If that's not what you want and you just want numbers, then there's other bots on this uh, marketplace that are probably better for you than this. Uh, because there are bots on this marketplace that don't qualify anything. They just grab all the data and send out the connections. All right. So let's say you send a hundred or you collect a hundred and let's say I'm just going to do 50 again. Okay. And here again, same thing, enter the number of DMs you want the bot to send. And then again, same thing. Here's the text. I have a whole training that is separate from this that actually shows you how to, how to actually uh, create these DMs. Here's mine. Hi, hi, howdy, hi there, cheers. I'm enjoying consuming, reading, seeing, 
your content so much that I'm compelled to reach out. I'd love to connect further as we have mutual friends, but I know you probably have enough quote friends, so let me know. In the meantime, I'll keep stalking your stuff and enjoying every minute. That's the way I talk. You need to set it in the way you talk. But again, this is for me starting a relationship. I'm not trying to sell anything right away. I'm just seeing who is a good person to have a relationship with that might eventually lead to a sale, a networking opportunity, um, you know, who knows, joint ventures, lots of opportunities. Okay. Here's where you can actually personalize the data. So here's the data table. Variables is a, a separate variable table. The data table that collects the data is this one. And this one will have a first name. So you can actually personalize it with a first name if you like. So what will happen is, right, wherever I had that, the first name is right here, right? It says first name. And so I would have to do this. I'd say, George, howdy, I'm enjoying, right? Nancy, hi there, I'm enjoying. Peter, cheers, right? That gives that initial personalization, okay? You can do that here. And then the same thing again. What is the email address you're going to use just when the cookies expire? Okay. Now let's go to the data table. Same situation. If you have a CSV file you want to upload, you are more than welcome to do that. Just make sure that you look at this data table and have it in the same order that is listed here. Name, and that's going to be the full name because when we go to the suggested friends list, the bot will automatically take the full name that is listed and then it will, it'll parse out the first name only so that we can have that if we want to personalize things. It's going to do the profile link, the intro. So let's take a look at this. So let's see if this person has an intro, Cameron. It does. He does. Tell better stories with video for small teams and organizations. That is going to be collected in this intro section. Website, same thing. It's going to look to see if he has a website. And that website here is one right here. It might also look under... It'll also look under the about section for an, a uh, website, just in case the website isn't listed under the posts. Okay. Um, and that's under contact and basic info. And there's a website, same thing. So it's going to collect the website. It's going to collect how many mutual friends we have. Um, it's going to check, make sure that it, it's got all the information it needs. And then I am going to come in and say whether or not this person's qualified, that I want the bot to reach out as a friend request and a DM. So this is different. You can't send a friend request to a page, right? And the page will see that because there is usually a message section for the page that there's an inbox in Facebook that the page owner either will check themselves or have a VA check or someone on their team. But in profiles, that inbox is in the message requests. That's where it's going to go. That's where your DM is going to go. So it's going to send a friend request first so that that pops up. And then it is going to actually send the DM so that when that person accepts your friend request, the DM will automatically be there waiting for them. And then it, it, it'll tell you the status of the DM is going to say sent when that DM is sent. So that's why this is used for profiles. If you don't want to do that and you want to upload a CSV file, you're still going to have to at least put a one in here so that it at least collects one. Um, and then you put however many DMs you want, especially if you're uploading a CSV file. Um, again, keeping, the, the, keeping your account secure, same as the last time. So if you want the bot to collect it for you, this number would be more than one. There's no link you have to put in because it's going to automatically use suggested friends list, but uh, you will then have to qualify. If you're going to upload a CSV file, again, make sure that you have the data table in this same order and that you, if you want everyone to be sent a DM, you automatically have qualified yes. And you just have yes all the way down and that everyone is qualified if you want everyone to get a DM. Okay. Now watch periodically you'll need to come in and do two things. Number one, you'll need to clean out your um, friend requests and your friends that may have, have already uh, accepted your friend request because you will reach a limit. There is a limit on Facebook for the number of friends you can have, right? So you'll need to uh, prune that list occasionally. And then the second thing you need to do is this data table. You want to periodically delete data in this data table that has already been sent. Because the larger this data table is, the slower the bot will 
perform because it's going to look through each of those profiles and see if the profile has been checked. Okay, like you saw, um, there's a check additional info. It's going to check and make sure that column has something in it every time it runs. So if you have 2,000 people in here, it might take a little bit longer for it to go through and find the people who have not had a friend request yet and not had a DM. So occasionally, once that's been done, you can delete those people who already have been added as a friend or requested that um, and already have been sent to DM so that the bot doesn't have to go through that. And that'll make it run faster. So I hope that answers your questions about how these bots run. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can see um, each of the task bots on the marketplace, what they do, so that you can um, more effectively choose which task bot might be the one you need. All right. In the meantime, I hope to chat with you soon.